What's going on, Vikings fans? Welcome to Vikings Now. My name is Patrick Seatman, and coming up on today's show, I'm going to give you guys five breakout candidates for the Minnesota Vikings in the 2023 NFL season. Obviously, tons of question marks still around this team, and you know the Daniel Hunter trade rumors, and you know even if Dalvin Cook could be coming back. But I'm going to be looking at five guys that I think could be taking that next step in their NFL careers, and it could happen in the 2023 NFL season. But we are closing in on 13,000 subscribers here on the channel. We just need 70 of you guys to hit that subscribe button. We'll be your one-stop shop for all news, rumors, trade rumors, injury news, whatever it may be. Lock us in as your go-to Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel. Just hit that sub button. It helps us out a lot. Number one on my list for breakout candidates for the Minnesota Vikings has to be linebacker Brian Asamoah. I've been driving this hype train the entire offseason, and I think he's going to take that jump next season. This is actually what Brian Flores, the new defensive coordinator, had to say about Brian Asamoah. This quote was coming from Minnesota Vikings mandatory minicamp, and he said he's one of those chess pieces where you're going to see him all over the field. He could rush, he could drop, he can do a bunch of different things. He's athletic enough even to play man-to-man -man defense. And honestly, versatility kills in Brian Flores' system. That's the word that I've been saying over and over again this offseason. Versatility, versatility, versatility. You have to be versatile to kind of excel in Brian Flores' system, and that's what Brian Asamoah does. You know, we know that top-end speed that he had coming out of Oklahoma being the uh, third-round pick last season. And if you're just taking a look at the Vikings linebacker room as a whole, a lot is going to fall on Asamoah's shoulders. Obviously, he had limited reps last season, but with Eric Kendricks leaving during NFL free agency, he is going to be the focal point, and he is going to have to be the man that steps up for the Vikings this next season because Jordan Hicks, he's kind of lost a step in his NFL career, and then Ivan Pace as well. I'm excited to see what Pace can do. But overall, Brian Asamoah, it's his time to shine, and he is the number one breakout candidate that I think the Vikings are going to have in this next season. I'm a big fan of him, and I'm excited to see him play ball next season. But number two, speaking of versatile, it's Lewis Seen, the safety that we took in the first round out of Georgia last season. And he has been great in Vikings minicamp, OTAs, whatever it may be. And this is actually what Alec Lewis had to say uh, from The Athletic. I'm just seeing impact in this upcoming year. He said, Lewis seen the Vikings 2022 first round pick who suffered a compound leg fracture last October participated fully in Tuesday's activities. He reacted quickly, blazing his way to the sideline on flat routes and tracking receivers over the middle of the field. He carried on to say he was drafted to bring explosiveness to an aging secondary and that athleticism was on display in 11-on-11 drills among the team starters. The 23-year-old has been energized by his successful rehab, of course, but he is also excited about his fit in Flores' uh, defense. And I agree, I would be too. I would be excited as well if I was Lewis Seen, because like I said, versatility. Like these versatile defenders, I think, are going to have massive seasons for the Minnesota Vikings. And that's why I also think the Vikings decided to move on from a guy like Eric Kendricks, who Eric Kendrick was kind of a one trick pony, and that's well, what he did well, just kind of being a run stuffing middle linebacker, he was great at it, but he wasn't really too good at dropping into coverage. And again, he wasn't the most versatile defender. Like you're going to see Lewis Seen, he can line up in the nickel, he can line up at the linebacker spot, free safety, strong safety. You're going to see Lewis Seen all over the field, and I honestly think he's going to have a great year for Brian Flores. But pick a defender out of these two. Who do you think is going to have the better season? This is, this, is, this is tough for me right here. If you think it's going to be Brian Asamoah, give me a 33. If you think it's going to be Lewis Seen, give me a 6. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. So YouTube, they're going to throw you an ad break your way. Sit back, let it play, and answer today's pinned comment. Number three on my list is actually Josh Oliver as we go to the offensive side of the football right now. I'm a big fan of Josh Oliver. You know, originally when the Vikings signed him during free agency, it was the first move that they made, and I was a little concerned about it because the Vikings obviously just had other positions of need besides tight end, but the reports are coming out from minicamp that he has been dominating, and he has been really living up to that hype as being a truly dominant run blocker, and honestly, the Vikings are going to need it because the Vikings' rushing numbers from 2022 – not the best. I mean, they rank 26 as a whole in yards per game and 404 carries, 1,600 yards, 18 touchdowns, but it's at yards per carry. I mean, the Vikings only ran 
4.1 yards per carry last season. And combine that with just how bad the Vikings defense was, it truly is shocking uh, how this team won 13 games last year. But overall, Josh Oliver, I think he's going to be a huge addition to this Vikings run game. And really, I think he has a chance to kind of take it to the next level because the two tight end sets with him and TJ Hawkinson, I think it could be really special. Number four on my list is a Caleb Evans. A Caleb Evans, our fourth round pick out of Missouri in the 2022 NFL Draft. He has been apparently balling out at Minnesota Vikings. OTAs, mini camps, every single report I have heard from him, he's been great. And this cornerback room right now, they're going to need him to step up because Byron Murphy, you know, I think he's a solid corner in the NFL. Obviously, he was probably the most sought out after free agent at the cornerback position. The Vikings were able to land him. But is he that true cornerback one? And then if you go to Andrew Booth, kind of similar situation with the Caleb Evans where, you know, part of that 2022 draft class for the Vikes. But again, he dealt with injuries and he really didn't live up to that second round hype. But Evans breaking out for the Vikings would be absolutely massive like if there's one position group that I could circle that I want the Vikings to kind of take that next step in and kind of have a player break out it would be that cornerback room and I think if a Caleb Evans you know seeing how he will mesh with Brian Flores obviously he loves those corners that love to hit down come down on the line of scrimmage and blow it up during run plays as well like he does that he's a very you know aggressive get in your face press man to man typical corner and I think he could have a big year and honestly all indications and all reports are leaning towards that. Caleb Evans could be an absolute stud for the Vikings next season. Number five on my list, I had to do it. The first round pick out of USC, Jordan Addison. I honestly think Jordan Addison is just going to absolutely ball out next season. But hey, if you guys want to get his jersey, we have a great deal going on at Fanatics right now. Just head over to chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. You can get your Jordan Addison jersey today. I'll make sure to put this in the comment section and the description of today's video. Make sure you go check him out. Jerseys are sweet. He is going to be wearing number three for the Vikings this upcoming year. One last time, chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. But overall, I think Addison really does have a chance to pop in year one. You know, obviously, uh, you know, there was a report from Darren Wolfson that he's, you know, struggling a little bit with picking up the playbook. And it's just kind of, I think it just kind of speaks to the point that Kevin O'Connell has a very creative and just different offense that, uh, you know, Jordan Addison's going to have to obviously pick up on. But I think when he does pick up on it, I think he could honestly have a big time year because, you know, Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson, they're going to get majority of the looks from defenses in the NFL. And Jordan Addison with those underneath routes and kind of just getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage with cornerback twos on other teams. And maybe if you put him in the slot, he gets a linebacker on him. And I would pray for that linebacker because he is incredibly shifty, incredibly sticky. He's crisp coming in and out of routes. I just think Addison, he could have a massive year. And honestly, if he goes for over 1,000 yards, I would not be shocked, but I'll ask you guys, over or under 1,000 yards for Addison in year one? Give me O for over or give me a U for under. I'm going to be typing my O's in the comment section. As always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Closing in on 13,000 subscribers. We just need 70 of you guys to hit that sub button. So if you haven't already, help us out. Subscribe today. And as always, see you guys next time. Let's go Vikes.